Hi friends, WordPress is the first choice for agency and website developers to deliver successful business website and e-commerce website nowadays. If you are creating websites for your client or if you are running a website development agency, it is really very important to satisfy your client in every manner, especially if you are taking agile products and making custom websites for clients according to their needs, according to their inputs. It is really important to have customer feedback, client feedback at every step and at for every mock-up that you are creating for website. So at iCreate, we used to create multiple websites uh, every month and we are taking client feedback uh, in a very important manner and we cater all the inputs coming from the client in a very very specific and very professional manner so that the client gets the desired website the dream website that he was looking for with our agency or with our services so how we manage these client feedbacks and how we uh, control the cli client feedbacks how we work further on client feedbacks and inputs this is being the topic of this video. So if you are a serious developer and if you are actually willing to have satisfied clients, long term clients for your agency, for your web development activities, this video is really for you and you have to watch this video until end if you are really a professional, if you want to be a professional, how we are carrying forward. I'm going to reveal in this video. First of all, I'll show you what I am talking about. So this is an icon that you can see. So it is movable at every place. And this is an add-on thing coming from a very, very effective plugin for organized client feedback. I am going to show you how we manage the client feedbacks for making a successful website at iCreate. So first of all, I want to tell you the level of the associates that is those who work on a website project. First of all, we keep a UI and UX expert on the project. WordPress developer is of course here and as a part of team and the graphic designer is also works side by side for creating images and graphics content developer for writing the content SEO specific or search engine oriented content webmaster and SEO expert works for the deployment and the SEO part and the project coordinator so uh, we keep six to seven people on a simple even on simple project that is on agile project of course we are not uh, including such a big number of staff for a simple website but yes for an agile website we keep all type of team members on the project so what we do we used to have separate login for the software delivery or the website delivery project uh, coordinators and the uh, team members and they work at their own according to their uh, role and uh, specifications. So coming back to the screen, this is a login of project coordinator, let us say. You can see this is a uh, iframe that is saying to leave comment, click the comment button, then click anywhere on the page. So let us check how it works. So if we talk about the page this is a page that is in, already in discussion and we can add this page as well for discussion and so i'm simply saying the basic things uh, and the, i will also tell you the details how it, it it works actually so for putting any comment on this page like if we are putting any comment the project coordinator or the client so whatever the uh, login level may be so a uh, client or po project coordinator can say change this image it's 
should be should be a girl image let us say and he adds a comment at this level so this is a, a label and this is a feedback from client that he's added so the client or the project coordinator using his own login now this is the login for the website super admin that is wp admin it may be a website developer so website developer gets a message that the client has given a feedback to change this image and uh, what it should be so immediately once the client or the project coordinator or the specific role manager gives any feedback that directly goes to the website developer or website admin who is taking care of this website for development and all so uh, he again puts a message okay i will send another more cop okay so just sorry uh, and he adds another comment again uh, i'll go to the link so i am refreshing this page and let us see how it works again so it is about this image and this is again visible here okay i'll send another mock up and he starts creating a mock up for the inputs for the client may add some more people working on the project like if anyone is here and he can give an example just in case if he, he want to attach a file like uh, this is a logo and uh, okay so we can keep this logo for the time being just select and he can attach a uh, image as well so just in case if you want to give an example the, the image should be like this so this is a uh, comment while the administrator can check everything what is going from the client end or from the developer in like if i am the project coordinator and i am the administrator as well i can check all the activities what is going on what is the demand from the client and how the developer is resolving on the query or what is the response and if it is resolved it is resolved and so everything is under control and similarly if any mock up has been shared so in mock ups can be seen here so task can be checked here so whom the task has been assigned and what are the replies so administrator can check everything and what is going at the project so for client it is a wonderful idea and the very easy to use interface for adding comment or on the website and you, the client can add anywhere wherever the comment is required and the numbering will come accordingly and the developer will check all the things uh, what has been written about the feedbacks and the uh, comments so further the client can check what uh, are the basic things that is being used by the developer and it it can be used for screen set uh, sort and all such things further activity can be tracked here like this page or if we talk about the inner pages and if we are opening i mean if this is a page so i will change the pages this is our services page and client wish to uh, say add this page as well so you, it, the activity can be opened and the left comment and all pages this page all pages all activity comments assignments comment status and pages if it is not added to, so it, this page can be added here and further the view page status and the comments can be taken forward for this page as well so the url will be available for every page and the client or the project coordinator can share the url as well for sharing the same inputs with some external resources who are not even uh, directly associated with the project so it is all very very important to have in terms of url and not so i'll show you the backend now uh, this is the admin 
and I am going to show you the overview of this system. So again, this is activity I have already shown you. So, so th at this screen, mockups can be loaded. So at mockups, uh, like this is image one, and it had been shared with the client. Like this is the image, and for the client can give comments on the mockup design. So I'm going to add new mockup for showing you. So I'll add an image just for example, I'll take this image and like this is a mockup and we can share the same further. Uh, so allow gauged force login or email sharing and the rating the images and all such settings are available with the mockup thing. And if it is added, so this is a URL that you can, I mean, the website developer can directly share with the client. So if it is client, so client can check the mockups what has been shared either directly through the panel or the URL that has been shared. So this is no title image and further, this is a mockup. So currently editing, whatever the theme is currently editing. So I am going to publish first. So update. Okay. So in the two ways you can share the mockup, either you can share this URL project access link with the client or from even with an external uh, people, external resource that is working or even not working on the project. And client can check everything at their panel. So I'm going to rephrase this and uh, I can check this, what has been added by the developer. Uh, this is just like a design. So now this is the design that has been added with the developer and I can check this design and further I can. So as a client, I can approve this design or put any comment on this design and you know, hide the comments and the options. So I can approve this mockup approve all images in the project. Uh, this is also available. So I'm just approving this one. So I'll go to the backend of developer and now it is approved. So it is a very simple process for taking all the feedbacks for mockups, design layouts, and even for uh, elements uh, at every step of website development. And even uh, it can be used, the system can be used for uh, different aspects like if you are running a campaign for collecting the feedback from the website users it can be open for everyone i just shown you one aspect for uh, uh, getting approval on the web pages the design inputs the layout inputs and the mock-up design so it can run on different stages like uh, you can create as many users as uh, users, there might be multiple users involved in the project. Like if you are going to create a new user, you'll get additional user type. Like by default, WordPress has subscriber, author, editor, and ad administrator. After adding this plugin, you'll get new user type like project client, project collaborator, project editor, administrator, and all such new type of login so that you may create login according to the need of the team and now you might be thinking which is this best plugin this is your feedback and i'll show you where you can get this plugin and how it works i have already shown you so these are people's involved and everything can be checked here as an administrator so what pages had been added like this is about us page one comment on or on unresolved queries here and the different level of communication that has been made similarly the website tab shows which website is under a process under development process and for which we are collecting the feedback Mockups can show you the mockups and their approval status and further setting is the main part through which you can start onboarding on this plugin. So you can use the logos. Logo is huge and like background appears on the login forms at the top of email. So these are the basic settings for onboarding 
So you might be thinking well, uh, where I can get this plugin and how to install it. Installation is always simple as in other plugin and you can buy the plugin through the link given in the video description. And this is the plugin developer site. The plugin is called Sure Feedback. And this is the smarter way to collect feedback on PDFs, images and websites. And what you can target using this plugin. You can collect for client communication. You can collect the client communications here. And even you can use for internal team. So there are different aspects for using this plugin. And you can collect the real time collaboration, timely issue resolution and the exceed client expectations, the reduced project cost, higher client satisfaction. So all these objectives can be met. Similarly, uh, you can use internally for enhanced team productivity, effective design, dev communication. So it is always a gap in our projects also. So designer says anything and the developers come with more things. So it is always helpful in efficient communication between designer and developer. So and achieve superior project and what you can main target with this plugin so significantly cut down the emails and video calls by 70 percent so it is also a time saving effort so uh, you can collect exact information exact feedbacks at exact inputs and you don't need to have video calls meetings and the email exchanges for all these things so it is direct and real time and can be used for website development projects of WordPress. So, okay. So, uh, let us come back to the screens. So, if we talk about the basic settings, so active labels and the resolve status color, all you can change for onboarding websites. Under website setting, you can uh, disable this feedback on the site for the time being. So, you don't need to disable the plugin. So, you can uh, enable or disable. And you can enable the toolbar as well. Uh, query, palms and URLs, comments, settings. So for whom comments can be shown. So it can be selected here. It is re really very important. You don't want to show the comments to all. So you can select users for which you want to show the comments. Approval process. So don't require terms agreement, required terms agreement and all. Further emails can be set when and in which frequency you want to send emails like send daily summary email members to projects and don't send activity emails automatically immediately email subscribed users summary in five minutes so all can be set here in the advanced settings so you can uh, run our setup wizard for setting this plugin i mean once you are installing and setting up this plugin and you can have separate upload folders and script debugging you can enable and the trans mockup threads you can so all in your control further you can even integrate the complete system through the slack messaging so we are using discord at our discussion so you if you are using slack you can integrate this with the slack as well okay so i believe this plugin is going to help you in every manner for project collaboration collecting the inputs and delivering the efficient projects for your clients on WordPress uh, platform. And this is the thing, how you can make your agency smart and uh, dedicated towards delivery. So I start using this plugin and if you have any question regarding this plugin, you can ask in the comment section of this video and we can also get in touch through iCreate program. So in the next video, I'm coming with more resources that can be helpful for your WordPress website. And we are also going to discuss multiple aspects of promotions like SEO, how we can make a successful website on the web. So the merely creating a website is not sufficient. It should be successful. It should have visitors as well. So there are many discussions that is going and coming on the uh, channel uh, in the coming weeks. So I believe you are already a subscriber. If not, you may please subscribe so that you may never miss any updates. In the next video, I have more good things for you. Till then, goodbye. Keep watching. Keep reading.